Hello, I'm Marie Whitmer and I work at PBL Netherlands Environmental Assessment Agency. I work, uh, I re do research on sustainability of water use at global scale. Uh, I recently uh, did research on the usefulness of the water footprint for sustainability assessments. And if you ask the question, is it useful or not? I can say, yes, it's useful. And also, no, it's not useful. It depends on how you use it. Yes, the water footprint has been used very effectively to raise awareness about the importance of water for our life and lifestyle. There are enormous uh, volumes of water needed to produce the goods that we consume. Let's give an example. A t-shirt costs 2,700 liters of water and the steak of beef, a large juicy steak, costs 4,500 liters of water. Uh, these impressive volumes, they say, they tell us that water is very important for our life, but they don't say us much about sustainability of the water use. Um, to know whether the water use is sustainable. We don't need the volumes of water, no, we need uh, to have knowledge about the location of the footprint. Uh, do we know where the footprint is located? Then we also know the context of the catchment area and we know whether the footprint there is sustainable. A water footprint is unsustainable if it uses water from overexploited water resources, if it pollutes water or if it's uh, allocated unfair, in an unfair way, at least considered unfair, or economically in inefficient. Um, so, if we know the location of a water footprint, and we know whether it, if it's unsustainable, then there's at least a link for solutions. Because then, uh, local actors in the drainage basin that know the area very well, and that know the local solutions very well, are connected to the supply chain and the producers in the supply chain. Producers who use the product that is produced there uh, as ingredients for their uh, production. By bringing these two worlds together, you connect finances and power of the producers to local knowledge of the stakeholders. And so this innovative cooperation can help solve water problems.